Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kastler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today, we're going to test the Chameleon Receive Only antenna. And the way we've done that is we put it up. And here's some footage of us putting it up. It's going in it's sideways. Red, yeah. It's cross threaded. Straight in. what we're doing with this thing it doesn't work um, this plate right here clamps to the bottom of this and then to this clamps this plate and then out of this plate go these to attach to a mast okay seems simple in concept the problem is that this plate right here is not drilled and threaded properly we can get one of the uh, hex head bolts in here, but we cannot get one in here. So, um, and I don't have the necessary materials to thread uh, steel. So I found this number 10 uh, bolt and I'm gonna put up from the bottom and it looks like, boy, it's just barely gonna fit. There we go. Put up from the bottom now the problem is you can see it protrudes a little bit here, okay? So I've marked this area down here and I'm gonna drill a divot in this. And I think we'll take probably this one and stick this in here just the other way and see if we can, there. Okay, so I'm going to try and drill a divot there. Okay, we're trying to get this thing on. We put a little divot in there. Now we're trying again. Note that what's sticking up right there is a number 10 uh, bolt. And we're now getting this thing back on that. Okay, that seemed on there properly. Okay, very good. All right, now we're going to put the uh, top on. Now that has to go the other way. This is important on this to note that you've got the cable coming out of here. Okay, and so it's gonna attach over here to the mast. If you do it the other way, you won't have a place to put the uh, the cable. There's a washer, a lock washer, and a nut. We're not going to be able to tighten this lock because we can't get to the screw on the other side, but we'll get it as tight as we can. Okay? And now we can put the uh, other things on for that. But first... I'm going to take this thing apart to make sure we didn't damage the preamp. Okay. So we're very fortunate. You can see down there, right there in the middle of the screen, where the hole came through and where the head of the of that uh, screw is. Okay, so everything is in goodness and in readiness. And we can put this thing up. Okay, so here is the device. It goes upright like this with the clamps down below. And make sure that you put the clamps opposite side of where the connector is here. Okay, and then we'll connect this back up to the loop itself and put it up on the roof and see what we get. So Callum is 
going up on the roof. Brave young man. Certainly a lot braver than I am. I don't do roofs anymore. And to get to that one up there, he's going to have some fun because that's a 45 degree slope to get to that. Okay, what we've done here is we've put up two receive-only antennas. This one over here is the MFJ receive-only antenna. Very nice antenna. I've used it for a long time. It, uh, the box that held it together broke. I had to order a new box, and it's up there now, and it's working. And this one over here is the Chameleon receive-only loop. It's a new product they have. And they asked me to test this out and do a video on it fairly quickly so people uh, could uh, know what to look at. Uh, fair, <laughs> I guess, fair warning to all. Um, MFJ sent me that antenna for free, and uh, Chameleon gave me that antenna for free. So I'm comparing two antennas I got for free. And I'll show you the results. Not just tell you, but show you the results. Okay? Okay, now that we've got it up, we had to set it up so both the bias T's were working. And uh, I've got two bias T's right here. This one back here, which is permanently mounted, uh, is for the MFJ antenna. And it is turned on. It down is on on this thing right here. And then this comes up over here to the radio. Okay, so the radio is uh, receiving that. And then out of the radio is a signal that's the entire band. Uh, and that comes up, down, and through, and into the SDR radio. And then that displays on the page right here. Okay. And we'll take a look at that. So, on the uh, chameleon antenna, they have this frustrating uh, practice of putting um, these BNC connectors on here. Uh, even though they've got for the radio itself, for the jumper to the radio, is a standard SO239. I frankly wish they would go with SO239 because um, it's quite a ways to the roof and frankly I've never assembled a BNC connector in my life and I've heard it's easy but it's always easy if you already know how to do it. So this is a bias T. So your power comes in here, um, the power goes out on the coax, okay, so you cannot go through a lightning arrestor like a polyphaser because the polyphasers will block DC. You need a lightning arrestor like an alpha delta, which does not block DC. Okay, and this, this goes out to the antenna. I had to get one of my oscilloscope BNC to BNC, and then I've got a BNC to male um, uh, uh, SO239 or... This one right here is a PL259, a barrel connector, and then the actual antenna with its PL259 there. So that Rube Goldberg arrangement is because I don't have enough of these little adapters for that. But anyway, it works. Okay, now, if we look uh, at the screen, we've got 40 meters on here. There's not that much activity today. Uh, we are connected to the MFJ antenna, okay? Now, if you look at this, and this will be all synced up here, this is the chameleon antenna. Now, the first thing you see is more background noise, okay? There would be none. 
you see some background noise with the MFJ antenna and then with the chameleon we see a little bit more background noise but that's not important what is important is how high those signals are above the background okay and I'm looking at some kind of very strange signal on here at 7100 7110 that uh, no 7102 it looks like a radar or something the signals at the left hand side are all single sideband so let's go to the chameleon antenna and now look at how high these things are above the background and then we'll go to the mfj they're very similar but I would say the chameleon has a slight edge in signal to noise ratio. A slight edge in signal to noise ratio. We can look over here at these. I don't know what those things are. Here's some FT8. Uh, FT8 in here. I'm surprised there's not more. Okay, let's go to a different band. Let's go to. Um, 20 meters and we've gone to 20 meters here so we need to go to 20 meters here okay now we are on the chameleon antenna and we're on the mfj antenna now one of the constants that we can look at is this over here which is the ft8 and switch back and forth we see that the band noise is about the same on both of them just a little bit different and the mfj and the chameleon antenna this is the mfj chameleon mfj chameleon mfj chameleon okay and they're they're not very different really um there's not going to be a lot on higher bands Let's go ahead and try um, uh, 10 meters. Okay, and we, we need to change this to 10 meters too. 10, 10 meters. Okay, there is merely noise on the 20 meter band. The chameleon picks up a little bit more noise the uh, MFJ slightly less. There just isn't much activity right now. Let's go to bands. Let's go to the uh, broadcast bands. We'll go to the uh, 31 meter band, which is around 10 megahertz. We've got to do this here too. Uh, frequency input 10. Oh. Um, oh, 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 oh enter okay so now look, we're looking at the two antennas and this is from 9380 to 9920 this is one of the broadcast bands uh, 30 meters and we'll just go ahead and uh, switch back and forth okay so this is the mfj antenna here's the uh, chameleon antenna and so look at the signal to noise ratio here. We see that one coming up and down, and that's actually fading in and out on the chameleon. This is the chameleon, but there it goes up. Okay, so we'll go down here to the MFJ antenna, the chameleon, the MFJ, uh, the chameleon, the MFJ. So we can see that all the signals are coming through on this particular band, the MFJ is quieter. So, in short, they're both good receive-only antennas. They are in slightly different places in my backyard, as you saw it in the video earlier. And we uh, have discovered that the performance varies slightly across the bands. Sometimes the MFJ is a little better. Sometimes the chameleon is a little better. That leads me to say they're equivalent in terms of their receive capability, which they should be. 
they're built the same way. They have a, a loop like this. They both have a preamplifier and a bias T, which needs to be plugged into 12 volts. So you can do that very easily and have a very nice receive antenna. Um, I'd recommend either one. Um, the one from Chameleon is newer. It's uh, made of a solid piece of aluminum. Uh, the MFJ one is shipped in a giant box uh, because it's got this big um, aluminum pipe that's been bent. So it needs to fit in the box and it's already assembled. The uh, one for the chameleon, uh, you can assemble it three different ways. They have you take the, the case that puts, that, that mounts the um, preamplifier is in a little case and uh, you can, um, it attaches a piece of metal to the bottom. Now, we ran into problem with that because you can do one of three things. You can put little rubber feet on the bottom of that panel and mount it indoors. My testing has found that indoors it picks up a lot of noise. The antenna really needs to be outdoors. So another thing you can do with the plate is connect a tripod to it in theory. And the other thing you can do with the plate is to um, uh, attach another plate which will give you the loop so you can put it on a mast. We had a dickens of a time with that. We were trying to put that on and found that the um, holes were not uh, threaded properly to take the bolts that were assigned to them. We got one to work but not the other. So we had to modify the uh, housing on the bottom of the chameleon antenna so that I could come in there with a number 10 uh, bolt or screw really and uh, we used that instead to mount to the second part. I mean it's equivalent but we did have to uh, dig a hole out of the plastic case for that screw head to have some place to go. So I'm not a master mechanic. I don't have the tools to re-thread a hole or anything like that but uh, in in whatever event we got the thing to work it is mounted I'm not going to go up and get it down because it's it's mounted for now so we can use that antenna for lots of different things so the net result is I think a chameleon needs to look again at how it drills the uh, threaded holes on the uh, on that metal plate, the aluminum plate in there, that received the angle bracket uh, where you connect it to a mast. Uh, that that uh, interface right there needs a little bit of work, but it's a brand new product and so they'll get it right, they'll get the bugs out of it and uh, the Chameleon has a reputation for good customer service, so they will do that uh, for you and really help you out. So there you have it. And until we next meet, 73. Hello, YouTubers worldwide. No. <laughs>